Sandy Reyes is with us from St. Vincent's and the Swim Across the Sand. Here she is, a mammography coordinator that sees to it that these are staffed well and obviously are very busy, these uh, mobile checks. And is it getting more and more popular to oh, be doing yes. this? Absolutely, absolutely. As yes. you, you see more and more women that don't have insurance and we're getting more and more phone calls asking if you know we can offer them free mammography screenings and, and we do. We're able to provide them with screenings thanks to the funds raised by the Swim Across the Sound and the Susan G. Coleman. Coleman gives grants out for women for this particular reason. So, and now we have the new digital mammography unit here, the coach, we're able to park, like you can see, in this lot where women can walk in and have their digital mammography done. Uh, Renata is here with us, uh, Renata Faria, and her mother. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Uh, now, you both went through this, is that right? Yes, we did. We both have done the mammogram. And do you do this on a regular basis? Um, this is my first time, and my mom, she usually she does uh, like every year or so. Well, that's good. We're, we're not snubbing her mom. Um, her mom speaks Portuguese, and my Portuguese is not so good. I hope that yours is better. But, Renata, what got you involved in doing this in the first place? I had a sonogram done uh, when I was 30 years old, so I saw about time to do the mammogram because I'm 35 now, and I want to, you know, make sure everything's okay. And you will be finding out in a few days. We're, you're feeling fine and you look wonderful. I'm okay. The pictures look beautiful. And I think in a few days my doctor will tell me everything is okay. Debbie Samoltowski is the technician involved in this. And Debbie, this is a state-of-the-art machine, isn't it? It's all digital. Full screen digital. And um, it's the best top-of-the-line GE equipment that's out there right now. Now, the digital yeah. reference point means it's, it's more accurate, it's more sensitive. What does it mean? It's definitely more accurate because it's digital and I can see the images as I process them right on board here and to make sure I'm getting all the tissue that I need to clarify a patient to have a screening. How long does it take to, uh, to check somebody out? Each appointment is about 15 minutes in total but usually it takes about 10 minutes to perform the exam. And after you've performed it, what happens? The doctors are getting a report and then they're sent to you know, their physician and hopefully they come back in yearly screenings for mammography the next time. One out of eight women have breast cancer, so you have to really be out there and screening these women to make sure everybody is taken care of, regardless if they have insurance or, or any right, you know, to, everybody has a right to have a mammogram. How would it work? Show us what, what, what would happen here. Well, this is actually the large grid, okay. so the patient is done in the large grid. I have a secondary grid that goes on here that it cones down to the size of the breast, so, so the they're getting less would, radiation. Would come up here, she, she would Correct. have her, her breast. top off, of mm -hmm. course, and the yep. breast would be put on on this. Yep, underneath machine. here, like this, and compressed. And we also have flex, which means it's separating the nipple from the other tissue so that it's safety, you know, that we're getting all the smooth tissue. And it's, it's a new state-of-the-art third-generation GE. It's very good. And in 10 minutes or so, uh, she's all done. Mm -hmm. Debbie does a wonderful job. She's passionate about what she does. She loves her patients. She hugs them, kisses them, and, you know, she builds that relationship with them, which is, is great. You know, she assures them. You know, she explains the exam because a lot of women are scared. You know, is it going to hurt? Is this going to be painful? She makes sure she takes her time and gives them that reassurance, which puts them at ease. That's critically important. There's no question about it. We want to thank you very much. I know you've got a very busy day on your hands yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us here. Keep up the good work. From Swim Across the Sound and Susan G. Komen for The Cure, Sandy Reyes, the coordinator for this and you keep an eye peeled or get in touch with St. Vincent's and they'll tell you where that mammogram van is going to be next. For doing it local.com, I'm David Smith.